At least Brett Cooper looks like Snow White in this promo, whereas you can't really say the same thing about Rachel Zegler. It's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. We are attempting something huge. We're going up against Disney. We have our critics, but we have passion and we have a mission in mind that is bigger than just this movie. Eight and a half decades after Walt Disney enchanted us with his first animated feature, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, it's rather surprising that a tale as old as time can still spark intense debate. However, because of Disney's actions, fans are absolutely furious and now it's been announced that a new Snow White might be giving Disney competition, and fans are all for it. In recent years, Disney's live-action adaptations have sparked both excitement and controversy. Some fans love the opportunity to see their beloved characters like Belle, Simba, and Princess Jasmine in a fresh new light on the big screen. Others, however, have started to realize Disney is not doing any of the adaptations right, and it's only getting worse. We saw it with Aladdin and The Little Mermaid, but things have gotten infinitely more worse when it comes to Snow White because of the major changes Disney Disney is making to such a beloved and classic story. It all started with the casting of Latina actress Rachel Zegler as the iconic Disney princess. This casting decision set off a wave of criticism and concern among fans. However, Disney just kept adding fuel to the fire as they announced that the beloved dwarf characters would be removed and replaced by magical creatures. This became a major debate and Disney was met with significant backlash. However, it's looking like things have been changing behind the scenes as a newly released photo suggests that the dwarfs might make a return. However, it's still not looking too good, as fans really aren't happy with the look of those dwarfs and the issue of a completely different storyline is still very much being discussed. Rachel Zegler's comments about the film are again being discussed and are drawing significant attention. Rachel saying, it's not 1937 anymore, in an interview where she discussed how the movie would shift away from the original Snow White storyline centered around searching for true love is being criticized once once again. Fans aren't happy with how this new interpretation under her and director Mark Webb appears to challenge traditional romantic themes and the power of friendship. The criticism is especially harsh, since Rachel is making the original story sound like something it is not by trying to make the prince out as being a stalker. The original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> there is a big focus on her love story with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> Weird, weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> These comments, along with Disney's decision to tweak the beloved animated classic, have stirred controversy among fans, earning the film the label of being woke. The intense backlash has left the movie in an unstable position, as many fans are actually threatening to boycott the release. This looks to be exactly why Disney has now decided to postpone the film from its initial 2024 release date to 2025. However, not everyone has chosen to stand by and witness the destruction of Snow White. In fact, a whole other Snow White movie is currently in production and is set to release in 2024 instead of Disney's adaptation. In response to Disney's approach to their live-action Snow White, The Daily Wire, a conservative news outlet has stepped into the scene with its own version of the classic tale. They're releasing this film through their new streaming service, Bent Key, designed especially for children. Jeremy Boring, co-CEO of The Daily Wire, made a strong statement where he pointed out that Snow White is what built Disney's empire, and the company is, in his view, disappointing its loyal fan base with the direction it has taken in the live-action adaptation. The Daily Wire's Snow White adaptation will be named Snow White and the Evil Queen and will come out in 2020. The movie will most importantly stay true to the original Brothers Grimm fairy tale, which is really making this whole thing very appealing for lifelong fans. This faithfulness to the source material is especially great news for fans who have expressed their disappointment with Disney's live action, since The Daily Wire is putting focus back on the traditional values that Disney is erasing. Their vision for the film is clear. It's about friendship, magic, inner beauty, and romance. 
These timeless values are the heart of the story, and The Daily Wire believes they are as relevant today as they ever were. In contrast to Rachel Zegler's opinion that such values are outdated, they aim to celebrate and show off their importance, even in modern society. Actress Brett Cooper is set to play the new Snow White in the movie, and her involvement has generated significant buzz. Fans have completely embraced her with open arms. Since her commitment to preserving the timeless values of the original fairy tale speaks to audiences who are disappointed by Disney's direction. But Brett is not just an actress. She's also a well-known YouTube personality and a member of the Daily Wire family, which includes notable figures like Ben Shapiro, Jeremy Boring, and Candace Owens. While she started her career as an extra in the Hollywood movie Parental Guidance, Cooper eventually chose a different path. She became a prominent presence on YouTube, hosting the comment section with Brett Cooper, a channel with over 3.6 million subscribers. Here she offers commentary on political, cultural, and societal affairs, while actively engaging with her huge audience. In addition to her online presence, Brett has appeared in movies like Bobby and McGill and 500 Fireflies, and from the small teaser released by the company, she can even sing wonderfully. With Brett Cooper leading the way and a commitment to honoring the timeless values of the original Snow White story, The Daily Wire's Snow White and the Evil Queen presents an alternative that resonates with fans who are looking for a faithful adaptation, in stark contrast to Disney's approach. Brett even recently shared an exciting video where she reacted to the trailer and officially embraced her role while commenting on some of the things that fans have been wondering about ever since they heard of yet another Snow White movie. In the video, Brett responded to a TikTok video by fellow YouTuber Ryan Cannell, who pointed out that people are seeking propaganda-free entertainment and emphasized the importance of this. Brett wholeheartedly agreed, saying, Not expecting this announcement? At least Brett Cooper looks like Snow White in this promo, whereas you can't really say the same thing about Rachel Zegler. You know, it'd be one thing if Snow White turned around and put a MAGA hat on or some bullshit. That's not, people don't want propaganda on the other side. They just want propaganda-free entertainment. It's Hollywood, baby. And that really is the main point. We're not trying to turn Snow White into something that it's not. We're not trying to turn Snow White into a MAGA conservative movie. We're just trying to represent the values that Snow White is based in. As she continued, Cooper also reacted to another TikTok user's response video about how Snow White and the Evil Queen was not trying to cater to woke audiences either, which is something Brett wholeheartedly agreed on. Yes, you're right. We don't give a crap about being woke. But more importantly, our creative team actually gives a crap about the source material. They want to tell the original story with the values and the themes that made the Grimm's Brothers fairy tale so famous and important to begin with. Brett also made sure to emphasize the very important values that will be at the heart of Snow White and the Evil Queen. Values like love and kindness and friendship and inner beauty versus vanity and romance, for Pete's sake, because apparently that's missing in 2023. Weird. Weird. No! She also made sure to bring up a very important comment that talks about her appearance in the video. It's clear that Snow White's hair is pretty long in the movie, while Disney's original cartoon had Snow White in a short bob. Brett made sure to clarify that for the original Grimm story, every illustration shows Snow White with long hair, which is historically more accurate for the time period. Staying true to these historical details is part of the commitment to the original tale. This is also because while Disney owns the original cartoon, they don't own the original story, and the new movie is a depiction of the Brothers Grimm fairy tale and not the Disney movie. The most important thing about this movie is the timeless values that make the fairy tale so loved by so many people, and at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Brett made it clear that the new Snow White adaptation is not about political agendas, and the approach has resonated with audiences who are excited about the prospect of a film that preserves the heart of the classic story without trying to diversify every twist and turn. This is especially important since Disney also seems to have forgotten the fact that the whole movie was an incredibly big risk back in the day. The Daily Wire co-founder Jeremy Boring talked about how Disney is actually being incredibly disrespectful to Walt Disney's vision and hard work by trying to erase the original story that made the studio into what it is today. Everything to build his dream. 
One of his greatest risks and greatest achievements was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Critics at the time called it Disney's folly. They were certain it would be a flop. It was 400% over budget, and it would have bankrupted the entire company if it didn't succeed. But it did succeed. It went on to become one of the top grossing films of all time. Everything you see today from Disney was made possible by Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So there's no better example of Disney's disregard for their own heritage or their disregard for their own audience than their current remake of their own classic film. Walt once said about Snow White, quote, to me, I thought it was the perfect story. I had the sympathetic dwarves. I had the prince and the girl, the romance. I just thought it was a perfect story. Unfortunately, the company Disney founded doesn't agree with their founder and vision. The Daily Wire and Brett Cooper are already turning out to be a much better and more heartfelt combination than Disney and Rachel Zegler. And things might just end up horribly wrong if Disney keeps going down this path of self-destruction. What do you guys think of a new Snow White movie? Let me know down below and don't forget to check out this other video.